This is the Power Rangers Legacy Morpher, as well as the Legacy Blade Blaster. And as a bonus, we'll be taking a look at this also. Let's start with the Legacy Power Morpher because it restored my virginity. I got this at release when it was around $60, back when former CIA employee Edward Norton disclosed operations engaged in by a U.S. government mass surveillance program to news publications and fleece the country, later being granted temporary asylum in Russia. The year 2013. Here's a look at the front, side, other side, and back. Now let's open it up. It comes with this belt clip, so you can display how single you are. I swear I'm not just projecting there. So you could put the morpher on either like that, or you could turn it around and have it on this way. A bottom would be showing the backside. You've got the Z on the back for Jew Ranger, and it looks really nice and elegant. You also look nice and elegant for now. Other than that, nothing too special about the belt clip. I did used to wear this in high school sometimes. I'm surprised I didn't get bullied. Now let's take a look at the Morpher itself. All the silver parts on the Morpher are die-cast metal. The Power Rangers and the black hair are all stickers. Now it being die-cast metal, it does kind of show its age, and I keep this thing displayed in the box. But it also makes this thing pretty hefty. On the back here, you have the handle. How about you handle these nuts? Now one big problem I do have with this is that this sticker over here runs over a screw, and that feels like a very poor choice. Now what's cool is that if you press this right here, you can pop out the coin, and you can place another coin in. But let's take a closer look at the coins now. All the coins have a weathered look to them, and they all have the same thing on the back. Here's a closer look at Tyrannosaurus, Mastodon, Triceratops, Sabertooth Tiger, and Pterodactyl. These coins have some weight to them because they're made of metal, and they really do feel like collector's items. Now remember at the time, not everyone really liked the weathered look of the coins, but to me, it, I, I didn't really care. The on button is right here. Never heard that one before. And if you hold down the button on the side, it will play the Power Rangers theme in a low quality MIDI sound. I'm not playing the whole thing. Also, the colors of the lights don't change based on what coin you put in. So if we were to put in Sabertooth Tiger, it's the same LEDs. Now I know in the Lightning Collection, the LEDs do change color, which I think is a nice added feature to that. Although that never really appealed to me because I had this. Now on this version, you have to hold a button down for it to continue to make sounds. But on later releases, they made it so you only had to press the button down once. Anyways, onto the Legacy Blade Blaster. This is the weapon I use to protect my virginity with. Here's how it looks from the side. Other side is the same. The top. And here is the back. Now let's open it up box has a weird smell to it. This thing feels absolutely great, and it looks great too. It's wonderfully molded. It's got a lot of nice paintwork and stickers on there. The paint on the eyes look nice. The backside looks the same. It's got a nice glossy red and some nice shiny silver. This right here is not die cast metal. It's just plastic. Same with this over here, but the silver tip here is metal. Here's the backside and the handle, and these teeth looking bits are actually metal. It's even got some nice designs over here. The grip on this also looks great. Now this thing does did have three modes. But before we get to the other modes, let's turn this on. The on button is on the bottom right here. That's also the sound I make when I get turned on. The speakers are right over here. Press the trigger for some sounds. And if you hold down the trigger button, it will play the theme song. And it sounds much better on this than it does on the Morpher. Once again, I'm not playing the whole thing. Now to transform this guy, pull this back, press this button right here, and bring it up. And it even makes a nice chomping sound. And this is the holster mode, then if you press this right here, you'll get the blade. And it also makes a nice sound effect. And if you press the trigger, you do get a few sounds. The blade on it has some nice detail. It's a nice shiny silver with some red and it's got some black details on there. And it feels pretty sturdy too. Now onto our final bonus review. This is the Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue Titanium Laser. I got this at a local retro toy shop and it looks like it was signed. Here's the top, side, same on the other side, bottom, and here's the back. Now let's open this up. And holding this in hand it reminded me why I get no bitches. It is tiny. Wow. These orange parts right here didn't hold up over time. They're very sticky and very gross to touch. But honestly, this isn't too bad. Now let's see if this works. Okay, good. There's no batteries in there. If there were batteries in there, that would be bad dirty. Let's turn it on. I honestly didn't know if this thing still worked. If you press it, that's the sound it makes. 
Also another thing to mention, it does have lights. Now let's take a closer look at this before we get into the other modes this thing has. I mean, there's not much to say about this. You got some nice stickers on it. The paintwork is pretty good. You got that nostalgic logo right there. The backside is the same. Now to put this thing in axe mode, you gotta bring this up, bring this back, and then bring the handle up into place. And don't forget to bring this up. When you bring it up, there's some more detail there. And now here is the axe mode. It does make one sound when you press the button. Obviously, it's not fair to compare it to the Legacy Blade Blaster because that came out way later and that is meant to be a collector's item. Also, you can combine this with the Rescue Blaster. I don't have that, but I think I was able to get the sound after fiddling with this for a little bit. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out my other content as well. I do want to do more tokusatsu reviews, but they don't really do as well. So if you want to see more of these, a subscription to my Patreon would help out a lot. It's only $1 a month, and I post high-risk photos of my toy photography there.